Street Ball. <laughs> Sometimes I feel a little mad Well don't you know that no one alive can always be an angel When things go wrong I seem to be bad Well I'm just a soul whose intentions are good Oh Lord please don't let me be misunderstood Hey, Drew James here from LearnGuitarInLondon.com. I hope you're having a great day. It's good to have you with me. So I'm playing Don't Let Me Be Un Misunderstood, uh, famously done by The Animals, I think probably in the 60s. Uh, and it's just a great song that has stood the test of time and the message is still just as powerful now. So today we're going to be learning the little riff. So I'll be showing you that, breaking that down. So it's not just a kind of sing and strum thing. You've got a little bit more than that, which is kind of fun to do, especially when you're with the guitar just by yourself, which is what most of my sing and play lessons are. A um, couple of bar chords in there, more for the intermediate players. This one, I put this at level three in my um, sort of free course that you can get at learnguitarlondon.com. So uh, without further ado, let's learn how to play it and get stuck in. Let's play that main riff at the beginning a little slower. Okay, so we're going to be ring finger on fret four on the fourth string down or Eddie 8 Dynamite Good by Eddie G, the G string. Okay, you're going to keep the index as stretched out as we can because we're going to need to play fret two very quickly on the same string. Now, I'm not saying that you have to leave fret two held down at the same time, but that would be beneficial if you can. Okay, so that's ideally how I'd like it. So it's very easy for you to change. But if you're finding that stretch difficult, then you can lift up. Okay, but I don't recommend it. I recommend trying to keep it down. To keep that down, rather than having your thumb over the top of the, of the neck, bring it round like you would if you were doing a bar chord, <clears throat> which incidentally you're going to be doing a few of those in this song. Okay, So we're going four, four, two, four, four, two, four, all on the same string, preferably with a plectrum. It's a lot easier and faster to do with a plectrum. Four, four, two, four, four, two, four. Notice to do the two, all I do is lift up the ring finger. If you're having to do this, it's a lot more movement. The next part is four, two, four, two on the B string with the index finger and then middle finger on the third fret on the B string. Okay, and then that's going to move back to the two. So four, four, two, four, four, two, four, four, two, four, two, three, two, and my advice is once you get that sounding good and clean and no buzzing or anything like that, then start to speed it. The way to be able to do that effectively is with your plectrum down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down. So that dun 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 dun, that bit, it's alternate picking. It's the way to make it fast. And then we're into the strumming. Now the rhythm pattern for this is down, down, up. I call the chill out pattern it's a very versatile rhythm pattern that works well for this song I did experiment with going which I was thinking of doing was palm muting and it kind of follows the bass line but I think if you want to sing and play it it's probably better to have a more of a sort of traditional strum pattern for this I think so anyway down down up up down up and your first chord is a B minor that's barring fret 2 uh, and the middle and ring and pinky finger playing fret two, fret three on the B string, ring and pinky on fret four on the D and the G. Into an A chord. Now I'm not going to be doing some of the obvious chords like A, G and D. You should know what they are by learning a song as challenging as this. So it's B minor, down, up, down, up, A, down, up, down, up, down, up, then 
you change to a G chord, I like to use the folk G with ring and pinky. Down, down, up, up, down, up to F sharp. Now F sharp, you're barring the second fret again like you did for the B minor, but this time you're holding down the D string and the D string on fret three and the A and the D string on fret four. That's your F sharp. So we've got B minor, Okay, so just the same order of chords, B minor, A, G, F sharp, okay? Good workout on your bar chord changes. Try to keep your thumb round, pushing your wrist forwards, keeping the elbow into the body and the shoulder relaxed as best you can. Then the chorus. I change the rhythm to down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. The old rhythm was down, down, up, up. So we're playing louder for the chorus, we're on a D chord. D, 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 and a B minor. D, B minor. And G. Now when you do this G, you strum the G and you stop the strings. Oh Lord, please won't let me. So we go G stop, G, G stop. No, G stop. I can only do it with singing. So G stop, stop, G stop, G stop. That's the part. Oh Lord, please don't let me be misunderstood. Now at this point on misunderstood, you, you can strum a B minor and an E minor, and you can do it copying the rhythm of the lip rig, the, the riff. So da 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 da. Or you could go back to, but that could sound a bit thin if it's just you with a guitar. So what I have been experimenting with is, what you could do is sing it. That could be a better way if, if it's just you as a troubadour by yourself, okay? Then we repeat a verse again, which is the same as what we've already had. Um, and then we've got another chorus. Hey. And then we've got this bridge, which is worth teaching to you because it is slightly different. If, so it's if I see magic, I want you to know that I never mean to take it on you. Life has its problems, and I get my share. And that's one thing I never mean to do because I love you so. What I'm doing there is it's A to G, all right? So I'm going, fancy magic. I'm going down, down, up on the A. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. G, G, A, 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 G, G, A, A. Okay, so we're changing on an up strum. Really important to put that in there. That makes it sound much more like the record. So G if I sing A, G and A, G and A, take it on D, B minor. It's in the same place, down, down, up, up, down, up. G and A, and I get my A, G, G, G full bar, down, up, down, up, F sharp, down, up, because I love it. So there's no changes there, it's just back to your normal rhythm pattern of down, down, up, up, down, up, F sharp, down, up, up, down, up. Okay? So that is the whole song, pretty much. After that, you've got a chorus, it kind of does fade out this song, but so, um... Oh Lord, please don't let me be misunderstood. Just, and just repeat the chorus, but I would definitely finish on a B minor, okay, if I was doing it the troubadour 
just you and a guitar kind of way. So I hope that's been useful for you. I hope that that's given you a little breakdown into how this song is put together, especially if it's just you and a guitar, maybe doing some singing. Um, I'll see you again soon for another lesson. Please give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Take care, keep on playing.